Hi, in this video I want to show how to use a radial gradient to isolate uh, a texture, in that case like a flower. So for example, I want to I want to I want kind of uh, isolate from the black with putting some transparency, but I want to keep the center pretty thick. So I don't want any black disappear from my center. So uh, there we go. So one way is to, of course, is to transform this as a layer background like that. I do a copy just to keep a safe version. Uh, one quick way is you go and you go in the layer style blending option and then you start kind of cutting this like that. But as soon as you go too far, as you can see here, my center disappeared. So we're gonna we're gonna kind of protect that center to disappear. So in order to do that, you add a mask like this and then you go to your gradient tool like here and you select the um, the radial version here like that. And then from the center, you just grab this like this. And then you create like a transition like that will uh, help you. So for example, I can go linear. I can start playing with this like that. Or I go with perceptual. So there's different technique. But anyway, so the idea is to try to keep the center like a little bit more thick like this. So uh, it's not perfect. So <clears throat> the other technique you can, the other thing you can do is, so it's um, it's adding on top of that the uh, blend if. So let's see if I do another case like this. I'm added this, and I'm gonna f I'm gonna do a layer layer style blending option. So I'm gonna add like this part as well. Oops, like this. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I have some issue with my what's going on. <laughs> going back here, layer style blending option. There we go. There we go. So we got something like that. So you get this. So you get a kind of a mix. So either you do one on top of the, of the other like this. So you basically having your your gradient a little bit more smooth I will say like this and in this way <clears throat> you see my my center stay thick and all my surroundings start to be really transparent and if I put like a a color sorry not like that if I put a color like this a solid color like I like to put green because green it's ugly <laughs> so it's pretty pretty clear you can see what's going on so you can see now uh, the particle will react in the second life so you have a little bit of a shade here but it's not too bad so there we go so that's the technique thank you if you have any question put a comment on below of the video bye bye